Netherlands uh, and I just completed a bachelor with a specialization in chemistry. And at the moment I'm a VIN volunteer for four months here in Talua. My name is Solva Höfer, I'm from Germany. Uh, I'm a student in the third year. I'm studying international water management at the Rode School Zeeland. And I visited two communities, Jipu Feri and Talua of Herbunda. I'm doing this project because in this project I can use my knowledge about chemistry and I believe that the, by using your knowledge you are really able to add something. Uh, I'm trying to investigate the chemical and microbiological water quality here. And besides, I'm doing some interviews uh, according or regarding hygiene and sanitation here in the community. In the end, I would like to combine all this data to be able to explain why people are suffering from certain illnesses here. The goal of my project is to evaluate the feasibility to implement rainwater harvesting system in rural area of Jitpurpedi and Talua uh, in order to provide an alternative water source for drinking and irrigation water because they are facing huge water scarcity and um, it's very important for your personal life and for your personal development to have a proper water source. At the moment, I think that the personal hygiene of people in combination with some microbiological contamination can cause illnesses and especially in the rainy season, um, people are using open water sources so they can be really contaminated by them and can cause illnesses as diarrhea. And for this I'm trying to make a really easy and cheap water filter that people can make themselves to prevent themselves against the illnesses that can be caused by the water. A lot of people, especially in Taluga, are facing drinking water problems. A lot of people have to work for over nine months, a year, more than one hour to a water source to collect some water and bring it back home. So a labor of up to two hours a day just to collect water is a reality of the people living there. And also that a lot of people facing irrigation water shortages. On the other hand, it's a very water rich country and I could see a lot of water being spoiled, being um, places are flooded and not proper irrigation. Taps are leaking and no kind of storage. So I think with the sources that are available here, they can definitely enhance their water situation. It's really difficult to do a really good, reliable chemical research in this kind of areas. Things that are really normal in a lab, like electricity, clean boiled water, uh, time management. These things are really difficult to manage here, but I am really happy that until now most things work out well and I'm getting some interesting results. I'm happy to be able to come everywhere and meet a lot of people and you see that sometimes people are really interested in what I'm doing or they even ask me about uh, their water quality and if everything is okay. The first thing I found, it's not directly connected to my research, but is how the people uh, yeah, handle their water situation here in general, like all the dirty rivers, all the rubbish polluted into the rivers, where I could see potential drinking water sources, they just polluted. So that is something which really affects me and where I think they have a lot of work to do here. So I think I can contribute an idea of what is what is possible, what could be done, um, if it's feasible, you know, if there's enough water to provide the people with the drinking water capacity they need. And based on these ideas and uh, foundings, uh, I think Vin is able to implement and start a real project uh, building and constructing rainwater harvesting systems on the spot in Talua and Jim.